Hey guys, so welcome to my channel. I'm going on a date tonight and I thought of shooting this video for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy. First thing I do is go in and take a hot shower to get clean and smelling fresh and sweet. I prefer shampooing my hair before a date because hair that smells bad um let's just not get into that but you get what i mean i love the way the shampoo leaves my hair smelling so good i'm using this one from l'oreal it is a dream lens restoring shampoo i like to focus more on the scalp and take it down to the ends just to make sure my strands are all clean of course, I like to go in with a conditioner. It's the L'Oreal Dream Length Detangling Conditioner. I do not know how many times I have used and spoken about this product, but it is one of the most repurchased and loved conditioners. Um, it detangles, leaves my hair silky smooth, and the scent is beautiful. I'm going to be using a sweet smelling body wash. I'm using the warm vanilla sugar from Bath & Body Works. It smells absolutely divine and um, there is like 50% off going on right now. So you can go and get your hands on this bottle. To make the scent last a lot more longer, I'm going in with the Plums Vanilla Wipes Body Scrub. This one is another of my favorites it's my second purchase and i'm almost done with this one it is not harsh and gently exfoliates it leaves your skin smelling sweet and soft To shave, I'm using the Gillette's razor and shave all over. You do not require any shaving foam for this razor which makes the process a lot more faster and convenient. I did wash my face already and jumping right into a face mask, I'm using the Ikai Fruity Surprise Face Mask. This provides a nice, a really really nice glow for your date night and it does not dry out my skin. Um, I like to leave it on for like 15 minutes and rinse it off. I like my nose to look clean and shiny so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of any white hair. I like to use a nose strip. I like to apply it on my nose and wait for around 15 minutes before I take it off. In the meanwhile, I'm going to scrub my lips since I like it soft and smooth and for that I'm taking the Sugar Rush lip scrub and gently exfoliating my lip with this. This is just going to remove any dead skin and provide you a really soft, luscious lip. Then I like to use an ampule. This is the Ceramide Ampule from Tony Moly. It is super hydrating and keeps my skin soft, bouncy and it is perfect for winters. Adding in moisture before I glide on my makeup, I'm using the Ordinary's Moisturizer. It has no fragrance added to it and it moisturizes really well. I'm quickly going to use a blow dryer to blow dry my hair. I am running late so I feel like this is the best possible option for me right now. I did change into the dress that I'm wearing tonight and I will start with my makeup. For my foundation, I'm going in with the Maybelline's Fit Me foundation and apply a light layer all over my face. Yeah. 
next I'm going to do some concealing. I am combining these two shades to even everything out and make it look a lot more better. And to blend everything, I am using a beauty blender. I just feel like it gives you a very natural finish and that's why I love using a beauty blender. I'm going in and setting my under eye with the K-Beauty loose powder and I'm also dusting some on my entire face just so that I have it all nice and set for the entire night. For my eyeshadow, I'm going in with the Nika K palette to create some eyeshadow look today. I am just going to take um, this dusty pink and pop it in my crease. I'm going to blend that all out and make sure everything looks even and nothing looks really harsh. I'm taking a deep brown shade and add that to make it a bit more smoky. I'm also going to put this on my lower lash line as well. Next I'm adding a little shimmer and put that on my eyelid. For today, I'm going in with my highlighter and pop this in the inner eyelid. Then I'm going in with my eyeliner just on the outer corners of the eye. I feel like I have been loving the half eyeliner look and it really kind of suits me so I have been doing this a lot lately. And I'll finish off with a mascara. I recently started using this one. It's the Sky High Mascara and it is so 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 good. It gives your lashes volume, definition. It's just perfect and it's perfect if you do not wear falsies because I do not prefer falsies. This mascara is amazing. This mascara tops the list. Next, I'm going to contour my face using the Makeup Revolution bronzer. I absolutely love this bronzer, you guys, and I think I have used this before as well in some of my previous videos. It is just amazing, and if you are um, looking for a really nice bronzer, go for this one because this would not disappoint you. Applying some blush. This one is a super cute bronzy pink shade and I'm applying some on my cheeks, some on my nose as well. For the lip, I'm using a lip liner first. This one is from Sugar. And to fill in, I'm taking the L'Oreal's lip shade. It is such a perfect brick red shade and I absolutely love wearing this shade. It's like brown and red mixed together and it's just so beautiful when you wear it setting everything with the maybelline setting spray and i'm also adding these rhinestones on my eyelid i'm using the miss claire's eyelash glue to stick them on and i'm keeping it super simple so i'm just going in with two rhinestones on each side uh going in with some highlighter to highlight some of the highest points of my face and this is the makeup look that I'm going in for tonight. Putting on these earrings that I got from Misho. It is super, super pretty. Finishing off with my all-time favorite perfume, Carolina Herrera. This smells absolutely divine. It is so perfect for your date night. And I absolutely love, love this one. So this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please make sure to like and subscribe leave a comment down below a very happy new year to each one of you thank you for being here and supporting me i hope you guys have a wonderful year and i will see you in the next one